And up next, easy ways to brighten up your house. Check this out, it's just gorgeous. Some advice on picking the right plants as well as flowers. And speaking of the spring and summer seasons bring out bright colors and for some the desire to spruce up your home. Now Whitney, I do not have a green thumb so I could really use some of these tips. You don't have to have a green thumb. It's San Diego. I'll tell you something, from flowers to plants, lots of ways to add color to your home. I'm joined by Patty Cordero, manager of the Armstrong uh, Garden Centers in Mission Valley. And Patty, you had to show up. I had Mari convinced I grew all these. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, we they, won't tell her. They look this good when you go home with them. It's keeping them this good and where to put them and stuff. That's, that's the tricky right. part, huh? That, that's very important. Over here, we have a lot of shade choices. And when you say shade, I mean like no sun or just morning sun or uh, what? Morning sun, afternoon shade, nothing real hot and heavy okay. or just uh, like filtered. Give us some examples sun. of some of well, San Diego's favorites. We have the beautiful fuchsias up here, and those that's are one sure. of my favorites. They'll take sure. a little morning sun and then definitely shade after that. We have bromeliads, um, begonias, sure. and mandevias here. So lots of choices. Easy to do. Any particular ones that just love San Diego or does everything love San they Diego? They all love San Diego since okay. we have the best weather in the country. Okay, direct so. sun. We get some These are all good sun. We have marigolds, zinnias, uh, calanchoes here. They all do very well. All right. Um, watering. Such an important thing. We just heard the good news that our water rates right. are going up. Suggestions? Uh, prepare your soil. Beforehand, so that's even. the most important thing that you can do. So, with planting compost, potting soil if it's in a pot, make sure you mix it with the native soil. The whole idea is to keep that water in the soil right, and right, don't let it escape. Right. All right. Loosen the roots up when you go to plant. When you water, water heavy, let them dry out. Okay, you know, and I thought I was a gardener, but you mentioned <laughs> deadheads, and what does that mean? Deadheading. When the flower is dead, just trim it off. That sends the signal to send a new flower. Oh, if you continue cool. to do that and trim anything, off that is dead, you're always going to have good looking plants. These plants right here will bring you up until about December. Really? They'll have lots of, lots of nice color. Well, that's one way to keep them looking that way, isn't it? Alrighty, uh -huh. any other real quick tips? The fertilizer, good uh, flower food. Uh, we had a water soluble over there, and then we also have a dry that you can put on, so you wouldn't do that about once a month. Awesome. Um, keep an eye on the bugs. Nothing so too we'll bad. So we're going to Armstrong on. in Mission Valley, and you'll be there to greet them. And I will. Give them all the hot tips, I right? I will. Come and see me. Thanks, yeah, very thank much. Thank you. Mari, I did grow these. She's just. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't think so, Whitney.